is for the unofficial Super Heavyweight Championship of the World for rounders. The three judges will be Jose Cobian, Larry Rosadilla, and John Shorley. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Raul Caiz Sr. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing purple with black, he's six feet six and weighs 266 pounds. His professional record, two victories, one KO to his credit, only one defeat from Kansas City, Kansas. Here is the challenger, KO Curry Bios. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the stars and bars, standing six feet tall and weighing in at 333 pounds, 55 victories, 42 knockouts, only one loss with two draws from Jasper, Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the king of the four rounders in the super heavyweight division, Butter B. Okay, gentlemen, I give you instructions, Dusters. Remember, obey my commands at all times. Boy. Bone here, on hey, up. Johnny. Okay, keep your punches up. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Remember, Jim, when we made all of that fuss about the Lewis Michael Grant fight and said there were 500 pounds, the biggest guys ever to fight for the title? I think that Butterbean is trying to surpass that figure all by himself. <laughs> uh oh. Only 175 pounds to go. Biles letting his hands go free. There's a danger in letting your hands go free against Butterbean. A little off balance there. Biles, a good boxer. Yep. For a guy with very, very limited experience and taking up the uh, sport at a relatively advanced age, Biles doesn't look too bad, does he? Butterbean is throwing his punches up high. He's got to go to the body so that his taller opponent can bend down to his power. Butterbean expects to get hit. He tries to get in on the exchanges. Once you hit him twice, he tries to get in one. Miles feels the breeze as Bean's big right goes by. Miles kinds of looks around, kind of looks around at people in the front row as if to say, Ooh, did you feel that one? Butterbean is normally just a bit more conditioned than he looks tonight. I told you, George. You are so kind. <laughs> just a bit more. Huh? You are a nice guy, George. It's been nice when he was really in better shape, believe me. How can you tell? What you're saying is he's normally not this fat, right? Yeah, but I mean he's fat, but he's not really this yeah, he's fat. Usually he's <laughs> nice and looking plump. a little bit, yeah. Pleasingly plump. Tonight he seems not to have trained as much as he has. Yeah, a little engorged. <laughs> Sometimes if you think you get an easy touch, it'll allow you to just take it easy and eat something. Yep. Butterbean glancing with the over-the-top right hand. And Biles didn't take it all that well. Biles' balance is not great, as, as surely you've noticed. He had a good left jab, but he stopped jabbing. Now Butterbean punches through the guard with the right hand. Biles has the reach. He just doesn't seem to want to use it. I think Biles is winning the round. You know, with, with devotion to his boxing technique. Biles has controlled the distance most of the time, and Butterbean's missed with his big shots. But he wobbles Biles with the left hook, and winning the round may not be good enough. In fact, might be tough to finish it at this point. Biles is starting to wobble. Butterbean's losing that temper. Bean catches Biles on the right side of the neck with a looping left. And Biles intelligently holds on. Butterbean is going to the back. Grab his arms, Kerry. If you're going to hold on, try to grab his arms. And a big grin on Kerry Biles' face as he wanders back to his corner at the end of round one. Hi, Larry. How are you? Wake me up when this is over. I mean, this is a long night. Couldn't see shit. You're okay. It's your phone's 
What's that same combination you threw against uh, what's his name, right? Jab off, right hand to the body, come right over that shot. Now, you gotta keep your head when you when you fight you, look at her. Watch this, keep him up and come out with your jab, double your jab, don't have to be hard. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What is this switching? What's going on over there? <laughs> Are you you feeling off balance or something? Feeling funny? Just suck That's in, good. suck in, just take through your nose, come on. I do find, however, find myself wondering, even in one of these four-round fiascos, how the California Commission would sanction a fight between somebody with 58 fights and somebody with three fights. Well, apparently this is nothing compared to the Layla Ali extravaganza Thursday night over in Universal City where she fought a 48-year-old grandmother At least Biles is within one year of Eric in age. And he has a better jab. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Well said, George. Body shot. You heard Eddie Douglas in Kerry Biles' corner saying, What's wrong with your balance, man? Are you feeling funny in there? No answer. Not easy to answer those questions. Butterbean stands there. No, his face unprotected. Anytime that Biles decides to jab, he can miss it. I think they're taking a 36, a 30 second break to get some oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> You've been throwing a lot of leather. <laughs> Miles' trunks come from the Michael Jordan collection. Are you sure? Yeah, the tag says 23 on the back. What are being tried to roll and counter? Roll, we know he can do. He can roll in a lot of different ways. And he has a roll, too. He's got power, though. Can't take that away. Well, and, you know, at the end of the day, when everybody else is tired, Bean will still be big. He can hit. Straight right hand by Kerry Biles. Lands flush. And another one. Tremendous shots by Biles. Now here comes Butterbean again. Butterbean gets better when he loses his time. Another straight right hand from Biles. First knockdown as I don't think there's going to be a next one. right hand. I think that'll be the end of that. Well, I was just about to make the case for Biles winning the second round. I didn't quite get it spat out. In time. He was winning. What happened? You said it. Punching power. Bean can hit. So Kerry Biles, in his fourth professional fight, gets crushed by a bean. And Eric Butterbean Edge stretches his record to 56 wins, one loss, two draws. How are you? Here it comes. Biles landing straight right hands and jabs. He was looking good. But then, all of a sudden, Kerplunk. Ooh, right on the ear. Yep. One of those eardrum punches. Did you hear that? He heard it all right. Ooh. Butterbean is powerful, if nothing else. What do you mean, if nothing else? Uh. <laughs>
He is powerful. <laughs> no ifs about it. Let's go to Michael Buffer. <laughs> the end comes at two minutes, 52 seconds of round number two. The winner by knockout victory, and he is still the super heavyweight king of the four rounders, Buddy B. And let's go to Nick Charles. Well, I'm standing outside Oscar De La Hoya's uh, dressing room, and there's a bit of controversy. Cassius Green, the cut man for Shane Mosley, was objecting to the way Oscar De La Hoya's hands have been wrapped. He says there's a double uh, layer of tape. There's tape on the skin, then there's gauze, and then there's more tape. And Cassius Green told the boxing commissioner here in California that that makes it more or less a le lethal weapon with a double wrapping of tape. The uh, normal way of taping is to put gauze over the fighter's skin followed by a single wrap of tape. The boxing commissioner told Cassius Green there's nothing illegal about it as long as the knuckles aren't wrapped with tape. And if you object to it so much, why don't you uh, tape Shane Mosley's uh, hands the same way? Cassius Green is back in Oscar De La Hoya's uh, dressing room right now for the, uh, in terms of trying to get this controversy uh, sorted out. But right now it's a losing battle for the Mosley side.